Hello handbag lovers. I am here with an unboxing of some Dooney and Burke items that I picked up recently. Actually, I have three unboxings and these are the result of me falling in love with a specific color and also behaviors driven by the thought that maybe this color wouldn't be available. So if you're interested in seeing the unboxing, I would encourage you to keep on watching. Okay, so let me get started. I'm gonna open the bigger box first. And like I said in the intro, I had wanted a specific color and I ordered one bag in that color and it appeared to have gone on back order or something like it took a really long time for it to go into a shipped status it kind of stayed like in a processing status for quite a while so my thinking was i wasn't going to get the bag so i decided to look at some other bags in this color to determine you know which ones i would like just so i didn't miss out on the color Lo and behold, though, once I ordered the other bags, guess what? The one that was on hold actually came through. So I ended up with three bags of the same color, and I'm going to most likely keep them all. But the first one is... Excuse me while I dump that over. As you can see... It is the Medium Russell, and it is in the color Slate. So let's just check her out, because we all know what happens, and it's the Florentine leather. We all know that sometimes the Dooney and Burke Florentine leather is quite hit or miss. So, it looks like it is a new bag, so that's a good thing. And... The leather looks pretty good. I don't know how well it shows up. But so far, so good. Some pebbling here. But it still looks smooth overall. So this is the medium rustle in the color slate so i ended up purchasing this one first when i wanted to make sure i got the color slate because i think it's beautiful and when i got the medium russell i started to think okay well i want to bag the match that if i'm going to carry the russell so then i ordered this bag because i needed something to go with the medium russell I, I hope I'm opening these in order, so I could be a little off here, but let's just see what this one is. So you know how they say scarcity is a motivator. So the scarcity of not being able to get this bag in this color was a motivator for me, unfortunately for me, maybe, but good for Dooney, I guess. Okay, so this is the second bag that I got. Excuse me, I'm just gonna throw this over there. Okay, this is the second bag that I got in the slate color after I thought I wasn't gonna get what I originally ordered in slate. Another new bag, it appears, so that's good. Oh my goodness, I just love this color. And as you can see, after I get all the plastic off, this is the large satchel in the color slate. Now let's check her out. Again, a Florentine Junior hit or miss. So let's see what she looks like. How pretty is she? 
I love the slate with this gold or yellow stitching. It's very pretty. So just checking her out all around. I won't go into too many details about the duty satchels because I'm sure you're very familiar with them. But oh my goodness, she's very smooth. They gave me a good one. Guess I got lucky with her. So this is the large satchel. I'm gonna do a comparison between my medium and my small. This doesn't look too much bigger than my medium satchel, but I'll do a comparison at some other point. So I got lucky again. Okay, now here's the final bag. And this is the bag that I purchased originally and then thought I was not going to be able to get the color, which caused my panic buy, if you will. This is the bag that I originally wanted. I think I've misplaced my scissors here. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, I have to see if I can use this pen here because for whatever reason I misplaced my scissors with all these boxes. So here's the one that started all the madness. is the Florentine Hattie drawstring bag in the color slate. The problem child, the one that started my slate by frenzy. But let's open her up and check out her leather. And even though I love Doonies, I've been buying Doonies for years, would you believe I don't have a Hattie? So, this one was 27 of 75. So let's look at Miss Hattie here in Slate. And she has like a purple um, glazing on the ends, which is very pretty with the bag. So it has the slate, the lavender purplish color, and then the yellow stitching. She is just simply gorgeous. And I think I've lucked out and got another smooth one. She has the gold tone hardware with the feet to match the yellow stitching. And again, you're probably very familiar with the Hattie. And she looks pretty darn good. So I can't wait to take a little trip maybe and wear all of them together. So I got lucky with these three bags. I did purchase some bag charms on Amazon and I purchased them. I think they're in this package if you give me a moment. I got them to go with the bag. one. Actually wanted a blue one. There's two. Not sure if this one fits. There's three. So I bought some little puffs. Here's one in pink. Very cute. I got one in blue. And I'm not sure if it, I didn't bring it up. I possibly may not have brought it up. And here's one in a purple. Another little cutie, little puff. Would you believe I don't, all, I also don't have any puffy bag charms either, believe it or not. 
And then I have this one. It's like in a brown with a fox. How cute is that? You may have seen this one before. And again, I had one in blue. And I'm not sure if this is it. Yeah, yes it is, this is it. Here it is. I'm gonna, this is I got specifically for the bag. So I wanna share this as well. Seems like they packed this one up pretty good. Give me a moment. not the slate comes off more gray but I'm not sure how that looks on it maybe one of the other colors might end up looking better Let's try the other so here she is oh now maybe this one looks better because of the gold the gold lining Looks like Miss Fox may be a better choice for this bag. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'll go with Mrs. Fox there. It also has the pink, and that could be a nice pop of color as well. With the slate. And then this one kind of matches that purple that I didn't even expect. So I don't know if that might be an option as well. So let's just try them all here. So there it is with the purple puff. Not sure how good that shows up. What do you think? Pink, purpley, and then this is Fox there. We'll just see where it goes. I'm thinking I could go with the purple because it matches the edgy color and definitely the brown and the gold. Maybe the pink is too much. So that is my Dewey and Burke story on the slate and I am sticking to it. I love this color. I love the bags. I am looking forward to taking a little trip or maybe I could use them all together. There's the large satchel, the Hattie, and the Russell. I'm looking forward to taking these girls out. And I think I got a nice little bag set here. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to all my subscribers, existing and new subscribers. If you haven't already and you like these types of videos, I would encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.